But in the in the in your in your hadith, brother, it talks it talks about. Um, it, do you want to be naked? Yeah, I don't mind. You can do. You can, yeah, in in your hadith, it talk, it talks about um, you know Adam committing sin, and then it, be, it, be, it being passed down to his generation, to his people. But the original sin in the Bible, when we talk about original sin, it talks about how. Uh, I'll get it. I'll get it up. So it, it talks about how. Um, yeah, let me get it up. So it says here in Sahih Bukhari 686614 It says the Prophet said Adam and Moses argued with each other Moses said to Adam O oh Adam you are our father who disappointed us and turned us out of paradise Then Adam said to him O oh Moses Allah favoured you with this talk and he wrote the Torah for you with his own hand Do you blame me for action which Allah had written in my fate 40 years before my creation? So Adam confuted Moses Adam confuted Moses the Prophet added, repeating the statement a few times. So we can see there was a sin. There was a sin. But we can see. You, you, you are sentence, I clearly hear you. You yeah. said in a Bukhari hadith, there is something that which says that Adam's sin was passed down to the generation. So no, I'm trying but to say. So I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying to say. So like how Moses was arguing with Adam, like because of you, Adam, we have been cast out of heaven. So there was something which Adam had done, which which had an effect on the whole of humanity. So that's I, I what I'm saying. So when we when we say when we say original sin, brother, we say like it means like how it's not like we are really really born as uh, as sinners. It means we are born with a fleshly nature that enables us to sin. Like if, uh, Prophet David, David um, said himself that you know in his uh, he he came out of his mother's womb in in the iniquity. It doesn't mean he he came out as a as a sinner from from the, his mother's womb. It means he has the ability to sin because of the fleshly nature. That, that sin which you say that is not like you seem that you are discounting that sin. I mean that's the very big sin. The the old salvation depend on that sin, the original sin. Okay. So that's what I am saying. That according I'm the way I'm understanding you, it seems like you do not give a much weight to that sin. So when you say that that sin has been passed down to the generation and okay, the so Bukhari says, I couldn't see in your Sahih Bukhari that. Okay, so when 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 I say the sin has been passed down, I'm not saying Adam's sin fell apart like. Because of Adam eating the apple, I'm not saying that we're going to go to hell. I'm saying because of Adam's sin, it's like a virus. Adam, because of Adam's sin, the fleshly nature he had, sin was in that nature. He had that free will to do evil, and because Adam sinned, he had because Adam sinned because of that free will. We have been given that free will as well, because we are, have been born from um, Adam and Eve. They are our, four, our, our parents, our four, forefathers. We get that virus from them. We get that ability to sin from them. It's like, a, it's like a virus in our flesh, in our blood. But Jesus Christ redeemed it for us. That's what I'm trying to understand that uh, in the Bible, it uh, clearly says no one bear the iniquity right. of the Father. So if I take this one, that com completely contradicts. No, no, so when it says... No, because according to this yeah, one, yeah, yeah. That, uh, there is no virus because of the Adam. No, when, it's, when yeah. it says no one bears iniquities, yeah. It's talking, so the, in the book of Ezekiel, when it says that, it's talking about how on earth, nobody is going to be punished by the law for their father's crimes. That's so it. I am not going to be punished yeah. by, the, by the police yeah. for your sin, okay. by yeah. the court for your sin. It's no. talking about the law, it's talking about the law. It's not talking, because, because we see in the Bible, Jesus himself said, where the, the sins of the past generation Will be um, will be visited. Uh, so so the, the things which the old older generation have done, yeah. it will be visited by the current generation at that time. So we know, yeah. So we know we know we know like you know people can be punished by God. But in that verse in the book of Ezekiel, it's talking about the law of court. In the law of court, that they cannot punish you for your father's crimes. Okay. So now I, I refresh because it's become convoluted now. Uh, what I am saying, I'm going to quote the Deuteronomy 24:16, which says, "The father shall not be." put to death for the children, yeah, neither yeah. shall the yeah. children be put to death yeah, for yeah. the father, yeah. every man shall be put to death for his own yeah. sin. So, so my, okay. let me finish and then I will let you speak. Yeah. My question is that the very sin which you are talking about, the salvation one, it's clearly contradicting that one because Adam's sin is right. not passed down to us because we wouldn't be bear the burden of the Adam and Adam burden and, and the Adam's sins would not infect on us. So that whole salvation which I leaked after the salvation right. has nothing to do with this, this thing. So now I'm but, I, that's saying, but that's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm not saying we're going to hell for Adam's sin. I'm saying us. I, I'm, I'm saying us, us human beings. 
we deserve, we, we deserve to go to hell for our own sin. And the Bible says, for the wages of sin is... But listen, I, listen but let, let me see. I will, I will, I will. Yeah. And the Bible yeah. says, the yeah. wages of sin is death, but the free gift is eternal life in Christ Jesus. I'm not going to go to hell because of Adam's sin. I'm saying that because Adam's sin, and he is our forefather, is like a virus. Because Adam has that you sinful, be the, okay, listen, so because, listen, 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 yeah. because Adam has that sinful nature upon him, is like a virus that has been contracted, okay, which you. makes us humans contract that fleshy nature friend, which has sins upon us. You just us. said that you won't be going to hell because of Adam's sin. I'm going to hell for my own. I'll be going to hell for my own sin. Yeah. We are all sinners. We're going so, to hell for our so own you sins. you won't be going to the. Uh, so there is no original sin. So it means the salvation is not because of the original sin. So what I believe original sin is, I believe, I believe original sin is where. Where you know sin was, we have that fleshly nature, as I said, because Adam sin that that he has a sin, I can't, I can't, he has that sinful nature in his flesh, and no, that because we have because Adam and Eve they are our forefathers, yes. uh, our foreparents, we get that fleshly nature from us, and sin is in that fleshly nature, which is why we sin. I'm not saying we're going to go to hell because Adam, because you know, how do you link that with the original because you know little kids, they're not going to go to hell. And you know, little, and that, that shows that they have not caught on the original sin. They have caught on the fleshly nature that enables them to sin, but they're not going to go to hell because of Adam and Eve. Of course, none of what he's telling you is actually in the scripture anywhere. Yeah, he's not, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I mean, it is. Sin is a disease. It, that's, it's that's what I said. That's what I said. That's what I said. Is, I'm giving an, I'm giving an analogy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm giving an analogy. I understand, but like I that said, Jesus was on cross. But now you answer my question. Okay, because in your hadith it talks about how Adam and Moses they were arguing in heaven, and Moses was blaming Adam that um, Adam disappoint, uh, disappointed the whole of humanity for his sin. What was that sin he did? No, I. What I am saying. What if he, I, I get it up now. When look. he ate the, when he ate the apple, he did something. Uh, uh, look, in Sahih Bukhari six six one four, the Prophet said Adam and Moses argued with each other. Moses said to Adam, "O oh Adam, you are our father, who disappointed us and turned us out of paradise." Adam turned everybody out of paradise. Sahih Bukhari, Sahih Bukhari six six one four. So your hadith are corrupted. <laughs> your hadith are corrupted. See? Your hadith are corrupted. See? That's what you do. You your hadith corrupted. From one to the other. No, it's yeah. we're on the topic. We're on the topic. To the we're on the topic. Yeah. It's not on the topic, mate. Yeah, yeah. listen. I've talked to him. My friend, let's stick with the original. I mean, you say this original sin. That Jesus has been crucified to forgive the original sin. Isn't it is, that the original sin? He came. The so yeah. it doesn't say just the original. He came to die for the whole of humanity and their sins. He, the original sin, he got it doesn't the say original sin. He came to die for all of humanity and their sins they have committed. Whatever sin it was they have committed, whether it was lying, stealing, he came to die for that sin. That's something you keep doing it. Then what's the it's, point? No. Okay, okay. Can I explain that? When the Bible says, when you come into Jesus, when you come to Jesus Christ, He changes you into a new creature. We are a new creation. So because we believe in Jesus Christ, He comes and lives inside of us. We are a new, re we have so a new Jesus rebirth. Never crucified so, for okay, sin. so we have a new rebirth, which makes us not want to commit my these friend, sins. We are completely changed in the inside. My, my friend, we have Jesus, grace. My, my friend, Jesus never crucified for original sin. He died for Adam's sins. He died for yes, your sins. That's what I'm saying. Yes, He died for that's every. That's what I'm saying. That's what the, I'm asking. Okay. You yourself says in, the, in a camera. The sin, the sin that Adam committed was eating the apple, right? That's the sin they were they committed. My friend, you so that's the sin that Jesus died for on the behalf of Adam. The sin that Jesus died for me was my lying, my stealing that I committed. The Ten Commandments so it has are broken. To do with the original sin. It is not known. It doesn't really have to do with the original sin. So I don't. Like, I don't believe that because Adam sinned, I'm going to go to hell because of Adam. I believe in the process where because Adam sinned, I get that sinful nature because Adam's our forefather. It's like a virus. That virus is contracted in my flesh, which is why I sin, which is why I lie, which is why I stole. Which is why I committed adultery, and Jesus died for these sins which I committed. But those who've been doing after that, right. what is the position of this person? Okay, so okay, that's what I was trying to say to you now, brother. So now I was trying to say to you, when you come to Christ, you are a new creature. The Bible says in the First John that those who continue to make a practice of sin is not a child of God. When you continue to make a practice of sin, you continue to continue and continue. Okay, that's what I'm saying. You continue sinning. It shows that you have not been born again. But those who have been born again do not make a practice of sin. So if those, so when you see that so Jesus said you will know them by the fruits. 
So those who continue to sin, they have not been saved. They have not put their true trust in Jesus Christ. So salvation is born in vain. It's for them, yeah. They, they, that crucifixion goes in vain then. Because every person after now, they can steal their lives. No, uh, they lie, no, they do everything. Right. Their no, because, because Jesus, yeah, so okay, I mean, I can hear it. So when Jesus, so, so it's basically like a ticket. Jesus died for me and you. And we can get a ticket if we want to. We can reject that if we want to. It's a free gift. It's a free choice. If you want to, if you want to reject that gift, you won't see eternal life. Jesus died for you, right? He gave that. He gave it. He gave a free choice to you and free gift to you to accept that gift or not. It's whether it's up to you now if you want to accept that or not. So it means that Jesus never died for original sin. No, no for that. I didn't. Yeah. So he died for. So he died for all sins all humanity have committed, including not Adam. For Adam's sin. Not he for died for Adam's sin as well. Yes. You yourself says earlier that I he said, didn't die for I said he, my sin. I said he. I said he did. I said he did. No, so, no, no, no. So okay, in the Bible. You keep changing your position. No, 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 no. You keep changing. Your this position. is my position. In the Bible, Adam was a first representation of mankind. He, he, he you listen, listen. Says not one, but many times that I don't believe. You yourself says I don't believe that uh, uh, Jesus died for the. No, uh, I. When Adam I say, when I say I don't believe in the original sin, I mean I don't believe that because Adam's sin, I'm going to hell because of Adam's uh, Adam's fault. I believe I'm going to hell for my own fault, and I believe the reason why I sin, so the reason, listen, listen, the, the, re the reason why I sin is because I contracted that fleshly sinful nature from Adam, which is why we sin as humans. Sin or not sin? He died for all sin, including the sin Adam did. I'm telling you. So that's if Adam, you yourself one hand says that we, I am not responsible for Adam and then you say that the salvation has happened because of Adam. So and you you're yourself... Not you're not, like you're not listening to us. Okay, can, can, I, can I explain my point? Yeah. Okay, I, okay. I say because Adam sinned, because he ate the apple, he is running away. <laughs> Come. It's too bright, it's too bright. Okay, okay. Amigo. Brother, it's cut, cut. Hey, cut it down, cut. Yeah, I say, I say, because because Adam sinned, and we have been born from Adam and Eve, they are our spiritual descendants. We get that sinful nature from us. That fleshly nature, that sinful nature, is upon us, okay, okay, right? Now, but listen, look, no, I, I didn't spit. I didn't spit. But I'm saying, but when I was saying to you, I'm not going to hell because Adam ate an apple. What I mean that Adam was responsible for his own sin. I'm responsible for my own sin, the sins which I've committed, my lying, my stealing, my adultery, I'm responsible for that. But the reason why I sin is because Adam sinned first. That's what my uh, my basis was. Hold on here. So now when the, we say that Jesus was crucified because there is an Adam sins. Which and is, we sinned, yeah, 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 all of us. Adam sins, which is passed down to the generation called original sin, that salvation was not happened because of that. What do you the mean? The crucifixion yeah. was not because of that. It's because of all sin. Yes, all so, sin, all sin. So it means Adam uh, original sin passed down to the generation, isn't it? to you? That's well. fleshly nature. Yes, that yeah. sinful nature so came on us. You are yes. having a sin because of Adam. You having a sin because of Adam. Yes, we are having a fleshly sinful nature because yeah, of Adam. So that's, that's what I said. And you had the. You keep saying that there is no. I am not responsible for Adam's sin. Well, you keep but saying I, that. No, no, Adam you, has you're complete. You're, com you're complete. Misrespect to my, my representing my point. I said to you. I said to you, I am not going to go to hell because Adam ate an apple. I said to you, I'm going to go to hell because of my own sins that I have committed. So Adam eat and Adam I, has nothing to do with you. Because of my own sins I have committed, yeah, that's yeah, the reason why I'm going to hell. Adam sins. And I sin because I contracted that fleshly nature from, uh, from Adam. Adam sins passed down to you, the eating apple has been passed down to you or not? In a, in a way, you can, you, can, you can assume so. In a way, yeah. but I'm, I'm saying, no, to, I'm, I'm the, saying the denying, bird, keep no. accepting, denying, in, accepting the him. burden of eating the apple has been yes. passed down. I'm not, yes, yeah, so the bird, so because of Adam made the apple, I'm not going to get it, I'm not going to go to hell because of that. I'm going to go to hell because of my own sins, which con contracted from the fleshly nature of Adam. But answer my question now, why, why, why did Adam and Moses argue about um, Adam um, being kick, kicking us out of paradise? Which you have just it's Sahih Bukhari, Sahih Bukhari. You, you, can't deny presented, it. you presented because you were showing me that the Moses, that the, that the prophets, the, in your sources, you have to. I read it. The prophet said Adam and Moses argued with each other. Yeah, yeah. Moses said to Adam, "O oh Adam, you are our father who disappointed us and turned us out of paradise. What did Adam do to take us out of paradise?" 
just saying that uh, that Quran itself says that uh, he was eating an apple and then because of that there is an enmity got started. So you believe in original sin now as well? Yeah, yeah. That's okay. So what I am saying, because you quote this Bukhari hadith just to show that the Adam sin was a... Uh, no, I am not going to do this. Okay, that's fine. That's fine, forget, that's fine. forget him. You keep camera to my side. Yeah, forget why are you doing no, 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 he's just filming him. Forget him. He's pointing him. He's pointing him. My question is that the Bukhari hadith you should present it. You presented it because you were showing me that the Adam sins was passed down to the uh, generation. To yes. generation. Yes. Yeah. Then I ask you humbly that in this hadith there is no any meaning comes up that the Adam sin was passed down to the generation. There is, no, this there is, is, there is wait, yes. Wait, your tradition says that Adam was created in, in Jannah. Yes. But yeah. because of his sin, Look. Allah casted him down. You're here because Adam sinned. That's so right. That's original sin. Look, a Sai Muslim, when any of you fights with his brother, he should avoid his face. For Allah created Adam in his, in his own image. So Adam is made in the image of Allah. And then it says, in the image of Allah. Okay, the Prophet said in Sahih Bukhari 3, 3, 2, 6, the Prophet said, Allah created Adam, making him 60 cubits tall. When he created him, he said to him, go and greet the people of angels and listen to their reply. For it will be your greeting and the greetings. So Adam said, Asalaamu Alaikum. The angels said, thus the angels added to Adam's salutation expression. Wa rahmatullahi. Any person who will enter paradise will resemble Adam. We are all children of Adam. We are all children of Adam. My question, my question again, I'm rephrasing. Is the Adam eating sin has passed down to you or not? Passed down to you. No, no, no. Okay. No, he's a Christian, not him. Okay. You need to ask. I already told you my explanation so many times. I said to you that the burden which um, of Adam eating the apple, because he ate the apple, he had that sinful nature. We get that sinful nature from him. It's like a virus so contracted. A but I'm saying to I'm saying to you, listen to I'm saying to I'm not gonna go to hell because of Adam's sin. I'm gonna go to my uh, hell because of my own sin, okay. my lying which I've committed, and my stealing. But Christ became the redemption, so I didn't have to go to hell. That's my main okay. representation. So it's mean if the Christ heavens done that, you would have that uh, no. that sin. No you would have that sin if the Christ if so Christ heaven had this crucifixion. You would have that sin. So why are you running from the hadith now? Yes, go back to the hadith. You would have that sin. What do you want about? Answer the question. Answer if the question Christ didn't have that crucifixion, right. like I put you the time back to the Christ, then you would have that sin. Okay, so if Christ if Christ had not died from my sins. No, no, right. the absent that crucifixion. My right. question is, hey, before why are you that, coming back to the Bible? We were talking about the hadith before. Okay. Huh? Before crucifixion, right. What's the Christ, you would have, you had that sin of the Adam. We still have that fleshly nature upon us. My question is, you would have that. We still have it upon us. After we still have it. But we are because we okay. We were made new. Jesus said we. Le okay, let me explain to you. Okay. When you, I said to you, okay, we still have that fleshly nature upon us. But we now, because Christ died for our sins, we have a spirit of God living inside of us. The spirit of God that lives inside of us changes us into a new creature. So the old sinful lifestyle we were living before completely transforms, completely drops. But answer the question about the hadith. Answer the question about the hadith. I told you what it You're going to hell for Adam's sin then, you agree? But you, you just said earlier you said you agree. When I said this, earlier said you agree. You yourself says many time that uh, Adam sins has nothing to impact on me. No, no, in your, in your, in your, you I'm, talk, I'm talking, I'm talking about your, I'm, to, I'm yeah. talking about your hadith. Huh? I'm talking about in your hadith, Moses and Adam they were arguing, yeah. and Adam was uh, Moses was saying to Adam, Oh Adam, you have disappointed us. You are our father who has kicked us all out of paradise. Adam was in paradise before. It clearly shows he must have disobeyed Allah. What was the thing he did that disobeyed Allah? Yes, the eating, eating the apple, yes. Okay, yes, yeah, so yeah. Is, is Adam going to go to Jah Jahannam because of that? No, He's not. Says that because the Quran itself says that he just pray after that, Allah give him a word, Rabbana zalamna anfusana wallam taqfir lana wa tarhamna lana kunna okay. lana qasri. Oh, oh, oh God, uh, you uh, forgive me because I have done uh, something bad with myself. If you didn't forgive me, I will be then astray. I will okay. be a loser. So God forgive him. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, because the enmity, Quran says, enmity got started between the Adam and uh, uh, the uh, Shaitan, the Iblis. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, because you, got, you are enemy from, of each other, you just descended upon the earth because this is not the place of the... Are they, 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 all of these? they are enemies? Iblis, Iblis oh prostrated to Adam. Yeah, yeah. Iblis in your Quran, Prostrated to Adam. Why was that? Why did Iblis bow down to Adam? Why did Iblis bow down to Adam? Yes. You. How old are you? 
Your jinns bow down to Adam. You are 25 years old. No, no, no. 29. No, no, no. No, don't worry. Your, yes, I'll show you, I'll show you. I'll show you. Okay. Iblis didn't bow down to Adam. He didn't. That's why he was got... Uh, the jinns, the jinns, okay? He didn't. He didn't. He said, please bow down to Adam. Yeah, yeah, that's what he said. Yeah, yeah. Tell him, bring him. The jinns, the jinns. <laughs> don't try it. Don't try it. He said, you please. I thought you were exposing. God said... Where's he gone? Bring him, please bow down to Adam. The jinns, the jinns, the jinns. So you're lying. Take it back. Don't say it was Iblis then. Take it back. Take the comment. Take it back. Okay. Okay, mate. It's a nice conversation. Okay, nice conversation. Don't, don't, don't take it into. Okay, God bless you, man. God bless you. Oh, great. He's gone now. Yeah, he's gone. So God, uh, yeah, that was, a, that was a long conversation, man. That guy was talking about. He, he, he's kind of misrepresenting my point. He was saying that we're going to go to hell because of Adam's Adam's sin. And I was trying to say, I was trying to say that because of Adam's sin, because Adam's sin, we get that fleshly nature from Adam. Because of Adam and Eve, there are our four, uh, our forefathers and mothers. We contract that fleshly nature from them, and in that fleshly nature, there is sin, which is why we sin. I'm not. I was trying to say that I'm not going to go to hell because of Adam's sin. I'm going to go to hell. I would have gone to hell because of my own sin and I'm breaking the commandments of God. We see in the Bible, little kids. Right, if they little kids are going to go to heaven, which clearly shows that they are not going. That which clearly shows that Adam's sin is not impacted on them. So I was trying to say to I was trying to say to him, yeah, like um, uh, we're going to go to hell for our own sins, and that Jesus Christ paid the fine for our sins. I was trying to say to he's trying to talk about like you know why did we can continue on sinning because Christ died, and I said yes because when we become a Christian, we are born into a new creature, the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit comes and lives inside of us, there's a rebirth. He changes us into a new creation, which makes us not want to sin again. The Bible says those who continue to make a practice of sin, those who willfully keep on sinning, they are not a child of God. So there's a big difference between falling short of the glory of God and will, uh, willfully sinning. I showed him in his hadith in the Quran, where Adam and Moses, they were arguing. Adam had done something very wrong, which affected the whole of humanity. What was that thing that affected the whole of humanity? What sin did Adam do that affected the whole of humanity? It clearly shows in the hadiths of the uh, in the in the hadiths that Muslims also contract the sins of Adam. They contract the sins of Adam, but he did not want to admit that. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you.